Okay, factoring by grouping. Again, the first clue for factor by grouping is there are usually four terms. So, one, two, three, four terms there, four terms here. Both of them are grouping, but when you try groupsies by twosies, it doesn't work. So, you have to do one group of three. Watch what happens. Let's try groupsies by twosies. Well, here I can factor out a z, but I really can't factor anything out there. So, groupsies by twosies isn't going to work. So, when that happens, try to do a group of three. The clue is the two z's have to go together, and usually there's a lonesome number. So, here's a group of three, and then a group of one. This group of three factors. In fact, it's a perfect square trinomial, so it factors to z plus 1 squared. I still have minus w squared. Now, I have a difference of two squares. This is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. Let me show you an example first. If I had a squared minus w squared, this would factor into a minus w and a plus w. That's the pattern for a difference of two squares. This is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. Problem is, that's not an a. It is a z plus 1. So I like to use bigger brackets for this type of factoring and z plus 1 squared means I have a z plus 1 and a z plus 1. That minus, so I take a plus w and a minus w. This can be rewritten to look nicer. z plus 1 plus w, z plus 1 minus w. And that's the final answer. When you have something complicated, you can think of that as the capital letter A and think of it as substitution. A minus W is A minus W, A plus W. But the A was really Z plus 1. Okay, let's do factor by grouping again. Here, when I group, I could group these two, but there's nothing in common. These two have something in common. These don't. So, let's do a group by three. Now, the interesting thing about this group by three is they all have minus signs. We can do a little rearranging so that I don't have to deal with minus signs. Watch this. I can rewrite this as x squared minus the quantity y squared plus 4y plus do you notice that those are the same? If I carry through the minus, I have that. This, with the plus signs, is much easier to factor. You'll notice there's three parts. It's a trinomial. It's a special trinomial. A perfect square trinomial. How do I know? Y squared is a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square. And the middle is 2 times y times 2. So, next step. Factor as a perfect square trinomial factors into y plus 2 squared. You can double check this part for you if you want. Square the first term. y times 2 is 2y times 2, 4y, 2 squared, 4. Now, similar to this, I have a difference of two perfect squares. That's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. The difference of two squares always factors into two grouping symbols. X, X, plus, minus. Y plus two, Y plus two. This one's a little tricky for the final step. Right here, no big deal. X plus Y plus two. Now here is a big deal. This becomes x minus y minus 2. Be careful.
careful, you must distribute that negative sign for the final answer. Again, I'll leave the checking up to you. Multiply this out. X times all three of those. Y times all three of those. Two times all three of those. Add up and combine like terms. I promise you'll get that. Check it. If I'm wrong, send me an email. That's it for factors.